plan to do is have a very uh, in-depth discussion with our players and our owners next week and make sure we truly understand um, the issues and also understand the approach that we want to take together with the players to address these issues in our communities. Now, we have had many conversations, so I, I continue to hear the word dialogue, dialogue. So for those that are watching and listening to your every word, just go in a little more detail about how that works from top to bottom, working with you and the players. Well, you know, there, there are a couple of things. First, you have to have dialogue to listen to one another, yeah. to learn from one another, and frankly, to understand one another. Mm. We need more understanding. And that's what's happened for us over the last year with our players going into the communities, doing listen and learning tours, going on ride-alongs, listening to law enforcement, listening to community leaders, going to bail proceedings and seeing what the players have focused on is what they want to try to improve in their communities. And by sharing that with our owners, our owners support that effort. They understand what this is important to our players and want to help them make a difference. And I think that's what's so unique about this is our owners and players coming together to help use the platform to make great changes in our community. Because the bottom line, Nate, is we all agree we want to make our communities better. Yeah, I agree. Now, I went from the field to now working in the media, so I understand how diligent <laughs> you are in bridging the gap and all the gaps that we have in the league. So I find this a unique opportunity. So I have to ask, what have you learned over the last few months to a year? Well, I think the most important thing I've learned is how important this is to our players mm. and how much work they've actually done in their communities to identify these issues and identify solutions, more importantly. And by sharing that with us and sharing that with our ownership, I think there's a deeper understanding of each other and, uh, and how we can go about making our communities better collectively. And we want to support one another in that effort. And I think that's what uh, makes me proudest of our players and makes us proud of our league. Now, every week it's about what's happening now. You know, that's what everybody <laughs> wants to pay attention to. What are the players doing pregame, postgame, and now off the field? Um, but what are we going to do moving forward? I mean, the, the question is, how do we continue to progress? And what's your plan with this league moving forward? Well, Nate, I think that's part of the issue here is that I think the real dialogue and the real issues have been overtaken by the controversy. And I think what we really want to try to do is get back to focusing on the actions that we want to take mm. to really improve our communities and support our players to get those things done and get beyond the current situation into where we are really making a difference in the community and, and, and involved with action that is going to have a positive outcome for law enforcement, for our communities, for, uh, for our country overall. Now, getting to know you over the last couple of years, I know that you move on your own accord. You're not pushed by anybody else's words, um, whether it's certain things that the players might say or even the president. But is there a sense of urgency in what you're doing and kind of getting this resolved? Well, I do think there's a sense of urgency uh, because we want to get into the communities and have a positive impact. Mm. And I think it's important for us uh, to continue to work together. And I think the urgency that we all feel is continuing the work that we're doing, keeping focused on that, and having a positive outcome for our communities, for our players, for our teams, for our fans, and frankly, for the leaders in our communities. And uh, I believe that urgency is actually beneficial. But this isn't something that started two weeks ago. This is something that we have been focused on for well over a year. It's hard work. It requires patience and, frankly, a deeper understanding than, frankly, we're willing to give a lot of these issues. And I know our fans are focused on football as well as they should be, and we want to get that focus on football, but we want to support our players, support our communities, and help make them better. Commissioner, as a guy who um, prides himself as being the voice of the players on the field, I appreciate you having an open heart and what's going on in the community and also open ear to the players and listening to us talk. Have well, a good night. It's been great for all of us. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate See it. You. All right, thank you guys for that. And the thing that kind of really stood out to me when reading about this was the fact that players are going to be attending the owners' meetings, which is not something that's usually happening. Uh, yeah, never happens. And, yeah. But they're going to be there. We're, again, we're looking at about a dozen players somewhere around that, give or take a few, that are going to be there to talk about this an anthem thing. We know what the owners want. The owners would love everybody to stand for the anthem. We've had everybody 
uh, or a couple of teams say that, but most feel that way because they would love to eliminate the distractions if they could. But we know the players want the owners to be sympathetic to their causes, and, and some have said, you know, what can we do to help you in that department? So that'll be the compromise. That'll be what they talk about. We shall see if they can get it done in a day. I wouldn't expect it to happen. It's been an ongoing dialogue. This is just another step for them coming Mike, up this week. J- just to follow up with that, I do a, ra- a weekly radio show in R- Richmond, Virginia on Thursdays, and my co-host Wes McElroy, he said, you know, Mike, a great idea would be for the commissioner to get all the players, the players that are socially active in a room, and just tell them, look, you guys have won. You guys have you won. You got what you wanted. And uh, take a month, whether it be November or something like that, and literally feature everything that the guys want to feature, whether it's social injustice as well, you know, do things with their with their cleats or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be. But just express to them, look, man, you made your point. You won. Let's move forward. And I think uh, Roger did a great job trying to communicate that in that interview. But I believe that that's why the players, as I mentioned last hour, are, are really pleased with what the Giants and with John Mara have done because John Mara has told them, I'm willing to help you get in front of lawmakers. So you're not just on the field putting on a display. You're actually enacting change, and you're talking to the people who can help you enact that change. So that's what they would love to see and not just be able to do some things on the field to create awareness, but to actually make some things happen. That's what the players want here. Yeah. Well, otherwise, you're just protesting and nobody knows why. As a player, when you see your owner, chips in and it's not benefiting the owner Mm -hmm. financially then we all can get on board yeah makes a huge statement that doesn't matter how much money you donate doesn't matter what the cause is as a player especially a former player Mm -hmm. when i see mr rooney former mr rooney or mr r or the roonies give the time take the money has nothing to do with the money give the time because it's not benefiting you that makes my heart smile as a player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think all of these demonstrations, they've gotten our attention. So now use the platform and do all the things that you want to do with what it and want. try and make Good change. Job, Colin. Yeah, exactly. Job, so this Colin. is. Hopefully this is progressing from here and moving forward from what we've seen lately. Um, also trying to progress 